Morning, welcome to a freezing cold Guildford. We've got a prima donna, future Formula One driver on our hands today. He couldn't be bothered to come to our office, so we've come to find him ourselves. Let's go meet Lando Norris. So, this is my crib. <laughs> shoes off, please. You have more shoes than me. You have to, uh, you have to do it in um, almost like, not colour order, but you know. Darkest like, to lightest, light, right? yeah. So cool. Just make sure you get that right, right? I'm taking some of that home with me. No, you may not. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is it. Two sims. We'll have a little race later. You'll win that one. And that's Sasha's one, that's the slow one. Oh, okay. This is one. That's a quick one. That's the fast one. So, yeah. And this is it. The crib. So we come to see the sim, show us around, show us what it's all about, show us the buttons. So I set you up, Formula Renault at Brands Indy. Cool. You've done it before? Maybe. Yeah? Maybe, maybe a little go. Maybe. maybe. A little go. Tell us about the buttons first and, and what the, what the ProSim actually does. So um, the ProSim is pretty much the best sim, you know, for a consumer point of view that you can buy, mainly because of the steering motor and the pedals that we have. Um, the forces and kind of force feedback we get through the steering is pretty much exactly the same as what we get in the actual car in terms of you know how heavy it is. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the main thing, and then the whole rig put together is just you know it's a very nice layout, very rigid, so there's no flex or whatever. Um, so all together, it's, you know, it's a, it's a good looking bit of kit. Five screens. I've only got four working. I need another graphics card to have <laughs> do my fifth working. But um, yeah, the triple is in, and I run live timing and. Uh, when I do my stream and stuff, I use it up there. So that's uh, that's that. Then I got my cube wheel. So I um, put my own logo in. And, you know, change all these. Got some dials. Change the pipe point. Uh, so this is pretty cool. You have similar kind of things in more so in an F1 car. In an F2 car, you don't have that much. So it's more of a sim uh, sim specific wheel, and you can just set buttons to change all the brake bias, roll bars for for different cars. So it's. Uh, yeah, it's one of my, my things which I like to you know, have personalised, let's see. So, let's, um, have a, let's have a walk around the back and have a look at the, the pedal box, because that's quite unique, isn't it, in, in terms of what ProSim offer? Yeah, so only two pedals, no, no clutch or anything. Um, in most cars, well, Formula 2, Formula 1, there's only brake on throttle. You have always uh, the clutch on the, on the, uh, the steering wheel. So in terms of like brake, you can feel that. It's, mm -hmm. it's hydraulic? Hydraulic. Um, so it's a lot harder to press than Probably your road car. What car are you in? Search and C2. Nice! Nice. It's a little go kart. It's nice. a Sebastian Loeb edition. Is it? We've got falling hats now. That's WTF. Don't knock the helmets it's off. WTF1, I don't want that. Oh! <laughs> Have you got a power station to, to provide the power to this? Is it uh, plugs I've in the tripped, back? We've tripped the electricity a lot in here. I can I imagine. Get quite often power cuts. Did McLaren pick up the electric bill for you? Uh huh. No. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I guess, you know, they pay me ah, in the future, to drive yeah. the sim, so they pay my bills to drive the sim yeah. here. It's a wicked circle. <laughs> what about this box? What's in here? Talk us through this. This box? This, this is the PC. This box, um, as I like to call it. Uh, yeah, so this is just a PC. 1080 Ti graphics card. I don't know if you know much about it. No. But it's, it doesn't um, look that much like a normal PC anyway. Uh, it's not too different. I guess it's it's more specific to just what I run, so it's just, you know, uh, racing games pretty much. I don't do loads of shooting games or action FPS, whatever. So it's uh, more just designed for, for what I do, that's it. Um, not too much, just one graphics card. I don't know about what the rest is in, like cores and processors or whatever, that's just, <laughs> that's not up to me. Cool, so we've got the ProSim here. I've got an F1 driver and he's gonna teach me how to drive. First, we'll let him get in, set a benchmark around Brands Indy in a Formula Renault 2 litre. Word on the street is I'm going to give him a good run for his money, but we'll have to see how it goes. He's not. Go on, Lando. Got to get a tight end pin on the outlap, you know. You will if you're going to beat me. Oh, you're a bit wide there. It's my outlap, man. Chill out. <laughs> Just, you know, get in the tight end. Yeah. Yes, no pressure for you. <laughs> That's how you start a lap, boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I think the tires are warm after that. All right, I'm gonna be focusing now. I won't be able to hear you. Okay, we're not gonna talk to you. I'm in the zone. We're gonna keep this professional. Absolutely no putting Lando off at any point. Oh, locked up. You can use all the track there, by the way. <laughs> the Astro. He loves the power slide at the end. Here we come. Push it on, push it on. Oh, it's a good lap. 43304. Oh, wow. That's going to take some beating. I don't think you'd be too far off. Depends how good your coaching is. I made a couple Depends mistakes. how good your coaching is. I made a... Yeah. Depends how many laps you get, I guess. <laughs> nice. Nice. Good work. And he's in. Good start, mate. He is in. How many laps are you getting? I'm going to do one push lap, stop, then you're going to talk to me, and then... Just one? Yeah. I'm confident. One push. What a pro. <laughs> I think he's going to spin. I just have a feeling. He's gonna push too hard, he's gonna spin. I think. If he doesn't spin, I reckon he'll be like, oh God, he's already two seconds down. Um, I reckon he'll do a 46.1. Someone's saying he's gonna be 2.7 seconds off. 2.8 seconds. Come on, Jack! Just give him the motivation, you know? <laughs> Not bad. Better than I thought you'd do. I think you've always oh, gone in up. No! Yes! <laughs> I should have bet you on that one, should I? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> you, get, you get another lap. You get another one? Yeah. Mulligan. You keep going until you complete a lap. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Oh! I guess it! <laughs> Attempt number three. Is he going to go wider into turn one? Has he learned? He hasn't. He's gone oh. hard in. He's in the wall. Oh, he's missed the wall. What a save. One more lap. <laughs> How far off did I say he was going to be? Ah, oh, I was a second out. 45-1. I meant, I meant 1.7 <laughs> Lap complete. Where to start the whole lap? So, I think the main thing should we look at the replay? Can do, yeah. So I think the first thing you can improve is turn one. Okay. And not to turn in quite so early. Okay. So you can probably aim to be more towards the left mm -hmm. and maybe break a touch later. 50 to 50 meter what? Breaking I don't think was too bad because you actually seem to be quite similar. So around the 50, you mm -hmm. want to be breaking, but just more to the left. Okay. Then you open up the corner. Back and then exit. you can, yeah, get on the power a bit earlier. A bit earlier and uh, and focus on a better exit because that's where you're losing losing the time. This corner now you break a bit too early because mm -hmm. the first two laps you were breaking a bit yeah, too yeah. late. So I think this one's quite easy. It's quite easy to lock up. Mm -hmm. So I think what you're doing okay, but maybe just push it a bit more on the brake. I don't think the line's too bad. Just a bit more on the braking because uh, you can see you keep doing yeah. it like three or four times. Exit was was okay. This one is similar to turn one. You can prepare a tiny bit more, mm -hmm. not too much, but I think braking later again. Braking later, a bit, a bit more, so a bit more of like a, a harder hit on the brakes, mm -hmm. and then getting on the power really. So yeah, chicane, I think you could uh, possibly just take a bit more curve, mm -hmm. just to this bit, and I think it will just help you not run so wide here. This one's a tricky one, even I started to lose the rear a bit on the entry, but I think the important bit is to not- What do you mean even, even I? I mean, the, the pro, a the pro. driver with some skill, <laughs> <laughs> myself, uh, wow. Uh, wow. I lost it. So I think it's, it's quite an easy corner to lose the rear, um, but I think your exit was good here anyway. Any final words of wisdom before I start? Good luck. I think you'll improve, but I think he was spinning here. Here we go. He's prepped his lap. He's gone for the exit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man. It's alright, we're gonna save it, we're gonna save it. 
Yes, they're trying to find... I think if he finds eight tenths, he's made a good improvement. More balls, Ando. Not bad, not bad. He's nailed it, he's quicker than me. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> he's right. <laughs> Can he do it? Nice. Nice. He's losing it, he's losing He saved it. Nice. Nice. One more lap. Better. Ah. I'm walking out of here. So guys, been on the simulator for, for a long time now. Very, very... Long very, time? Very long time. It feels like a long time. And not quite where I want to be. 1.4 seconds off Lando Norris, Formula 1 driver. It's probably not too bad, but I would have liked to have improved a bit more. Lando, what are you, what are you giving me out of 10? <laughs> I will give you... Careful. I can't chase you. Yeah, I know. This I'm, is way, a, I'm way too big to get out of this. Steve. Or just put top 50 drivers. Well, it? no, of course we would not be so biased as that. <laughs> um, I would say, I give you a five out of 10. Five out of 10. I mean, maybe I'm being nice there as well. Really? What would you rate yourself? A strong eight, I reckon. What? I'm within one and a half seconds of a Formula 1 driver. I'm not actually a current Formula 1 driver, I'm a future Formula 1 driver. You're not supposed to say that, you're supposed to pick yourself up. No, if it makes me sound worse. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because you've got so much to learn before you start next year. I would say five. Five, okay. I think um, you did improve. I think uh, some, if you put your lap together, you could have improved again quite a bit more. Yeah. But I think um, you probably are overdriving just a little bit. I think you were wanting to improve a lot more. But I don't think, I think if you ended up like one second off, it would have been a pretty good lap. So. Well, Lando says I need to try again and try and put the whole lap together. So I'm going to crack on, and you guys can uh, you guys can go. Go on in.